Hi! Today we're going to be learning how to play an A minor one octave scale on the cello. Now the first thing you need to know about minor scales is there are three different types of minor scale and each minor key coincides with a major key. So uh, we, uh, we call the key of C major and A minor relative major and minor because they share the same key signature. So if you know your major scales, um, the best way to find the minor scale that coincides with it, the relative minor, is to go to the sixth note of the major scale. In the case of C, the sixth note would be A. You could either go up six notes or go down three from C and you'll find A. Now, um, as for the three forms of the minor scale, don't be intimidated by the fact that there are three different different minor scales. We actually only practice one of them generally. Um, so, uh, but we're gonna go through all three of them so you understand what they mean. Now, the first one is the natural minor scale. And the natural minor, you play just the notes in the key signature. So essentially, you're playing the same scale as C major, but you are starting and ending on the note A. So C major is all natural, no flats, no sharps. And if we start and end on A, it becomes a natural minor, which sounds like this. So that is natural minor. That is also called the Aeolian scale. The next form of the minor scale is called the harmonic minor. And for the harmonic minor, we play all the same notes except one, we switch the G natural to G sharp, which is an extension on the cello. So the harmonic minor scale sounds like this. tricky because you have F natural and then you skip to G sharp which is more than a whole step it's actually a step and a half we call that an augmented second interval uh, which is a little bit tricky because on cello especially usually when you're in the extended hand position you're gonna do one two four staying in the extended hand position and this one forces you to stay in the, the closed hand position and then open it up halfway through so it's a little bit tricky it's certainly possible but that's not the form of the minor scale that string players tend to practice most. We like to practice the melodic minor. And for the melodic minor, you play um, all the same notes of the natural minor scale, except going up, you raise both the F and the G from F natural and G natural to F sharp and G sharp. So that kind of smooths out that, um, that, that uh, tricky large interval that you find in the, in the harmonic minor but you only do that going up and then going down is back to the notes of natural minor. So that sounds like this. So we've got A. Always C natural in minor. Okay, so that's ascending. And then descending, you do have to change your finger pattern. Let's try playing that together. Go ahead and play with me. So we've got A, B, fourth finger C, sharp. That's got to be second finger for the F sharp. And then G sharp. And then A. Now uh, go ahead and close up that extension. Good. Let's go ahead and play this one along with a techno beat. Uh, we're going to um, use a, a beat that has a drone to it and we're going to play four, four beats on each note. So let's find our beat. scale I'd really recommend that you try practicing with a tuner. Um, this scale is more difficult to play in tune just because uh, it's not as familiar and also 
the, um, the changing notes going up and going down um, can throw off your ear a bit. So it's really important that you're listening carefully and taking care to tune every note as you're playing the scale. Don't try and practice it too quickly. At first, I'd say start nice and slow, maybe with a beat and a drone, and, um, and then gradually build the tempo as you get more comfortable with the fingering. Have a great time practicing the A minor scale. Thank you.